Representative Mike Thompson, Democrat of California, senior member of the House Ways and Means Committee, serves as chairman of the House Gun Violence Prevention Task Force. Is this a good start, Mike? Well, I think it's a great start, uh, Larry. As a matter of fact, uh, I sent the president a letter a little over a month ago, signed by a number of my colleagues, asking him to do just this. Uh, the best way to do it would be to take congressional action. Uh, but as you know, uh, this congressional leadership uh, will not take up a bill for a vote. Uh, we have moment of silence after moment of silence for every tragedy gun-related that happens, uh, but not once are we speaking out, not once are we voting on uh, these measures that are so important uh, to our different communities, uh, public health and, and, and safety. I have a bill with uh, my Republican colleague, Peter King from New York, that would require background checks for all commercial sale of firearms. We have bipartisan support. There's Democrats and Republicans on the bill, almost 190 co-authors, and we can't even get a vote uh, on that measure. So this is, this is what was left. The president uh, used his authority uh, within the confines of the Constitution and existing law, and uh, he took a step, small step, but an important step. I don't understand. How can 92% of Americans favor background checks? Why can't you get that passed? Well, you know, there's a, a, a pretty vocal uh, lobbying group in Washington that doesn't want it, and, uh, and that's just stopping it from coming to the floor for a vote. If we got it on the floor for a vote, I'm very confident that it would, uh, it would in fact, pass. Uh, last year, uh, I had a, an amendment, a hostile amendment, to an appropriations bill uh, that increased the funding uh, to the system that, that runs the background checks, the NICS system. And uh, that passed with 70 Republican votes. So I, I think that uh, we'd get uh, quite a few of those folks coming back to vote for the background check. You can't vote to fund the background check system and then vote against using the background check system. When you talk to your colleagues who are against it, what reason do they give you? Well, you know, you've, you've got the, uh, the, the critics that just any gun bill, they, they'll tell you, uh, is anti the Second Amendment. It's uh, designed to take away people's guns. And then you have some people that just say, hey, I can't do it in my district. Uh, this is a, a difficult one uh, for me. You have a lot of people, a, a lot of my colleagues, have told me, I can't co-author your bill, but if it comes up for a vote, I'll vote for it. So that's a very promising uh, sign uh, when I talk to people on the House floor. The Second Amendment refers to a militia. That was back in the 18th century. What militia? Well, the, the truth is uh, we, we've, we've moved uh, a great deal uh, from, uh, from that argument uh, when the Heller uh, initiative, uh, the Heller uh, decision was uh, uh, made at the U.S. Supreme Court. Uh, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that uh, individuals have a right to uh, own and maintain firearms. So the, the question of whether or not people can have guns uh, has been settled by the U.S. Supreme Court. You have a constitutional right to own a gun. That same opinion, however, stated that you can, in fact, regulate uh, the use and the ownership of those firearms. And that's what we're trying to do. All we're saying is if you're a criminal, if you're a domestic abuser, if you're a terrorist, or if you're dangerously mentally ill, you shouldn't be able to have a firearm. And the federal background check system is the first line of defense against people uh, having easy access to firearms. When people see all of this around us, children being killed, a president crying, doesn't this move people? Oh, I think people are moved. I think people in your neighborhood, in my neighborhood, I think people across the country, as you pointed out, uh, there's a high number of people throughout the United States that support background checks for firearms. It's something like 82% of NRA members support background checks uh, for, uh, for firearms. And it is moving. You know, as, as you point out, the president teared uh, when he was holding his press conference yesterday. And, you know, I, I've met with a lot of those families. I've met with victims uh, of gun violence. I've met with the families uh, who's uh, lost loved ones to, to gun violence. And it, it is a tearful, emotional uh, experience. And when the president started talking about the uh, 20 uh, small children who were murdered uh, at Sandy Hook Elementary School, 
at having talked to some of their parents, I know why he cried. I don't think there were any of us at that press conference who didn't shed tears during that press conference. Think it'll be an issue in the election? I think it'll very much be an issue uh, in the election. Uh, I know that the uh, the uh, presumable presu pre the presumable uh, uh, Democratic standard bearer, uh, uh, Senator Hillary Clinton, has made it an issue on uh, on my side of the of the aisle. And interestingly, uh, on the on the Republican side, every one of them has uh, promised to uh, repeal uh, President Obama's executive order. Uh, and they did it before they even saw what the executive order did. And you, you were spot on earlier in, in the show uh, when I heard you uh, outline what the bill does. The bill clarifies, or the executive order does, it clarifies existing law. It says what the existing law says. If you're in the business of selling firearms, you have to get a license. It also uh, says that uh, he wants to grow the number of uh, folks at the, uh, at the AT who oversee the background uh, check system, make sure we have enough people so uh, uh, things don't fall through the cracks. It's run more effectively, more efficiently. And he said he wants to increase the amount of money for mental health. Uh, that's something that uh, all the Republicans who have spoken on this issue uh, point to. They say this is a mental health issue. We ought to provide better mental health services. It takes money to do that. The president uh, stepped up. He's, uh, he, he, he wants to uh, appropriate $500 million additional mental health dollars. It's all pretty benign uh, when, you, uh, when you look at it. We lead the world, don't we, in these kind of things, in killings of oh, children, we we were. And gun yeah. shootings, and massive 30, high schools. 30 people a day are killed by someone using a firearm. And it's just, it's outrageous. That doesn't take into account the suicides uh, that take place uh, in our country. Uh, and it doesn't have to be that way. As you probably know, I'm a gun owner. I strongly support the Second Amendment. Uh, but I think as a gun owner, uh, myself and, and all of my gun owner friends and neighbors and, and uh, colleagues have a responsibility to be responsible gun owners. And part of that is to make sure that we keep guns out of the hands of people who shouldn't have them. And every gun owner should live up to that responsibility. Every gun owner should speak out. Uh, and every gun owner should demand that their member of Congress support background checks before people can buy firearms. What do you make, Connor? I know Trump has attacked the president on this. What do you make of Donald Trump's candidacy? Well, you know, I'm, I'm not a Donald Trump uh, fan. I think he's uh, really playing to the fears of the American people. You know, he's a, he, he's a good salesperson. That's, that's his business. He's a, he's a promoter. That's his business. And he's using all the tricks and all the traits uh, of, of that profession uh, to try and sell uh, his uh, candidacy. But, you know, even Bill O'Reilly uh, came out today and said that, uh, that folks shouldn't be worried about this executive order. He, he went a step further. Uh, he said that uh, it's ridiculous to worry about background checks. If, if, you're, if you don't want a background check because you're afraid that the government's going to come take your gun, uh, that's your problem. The rest of us uh, should uh, want background checks to make sure our communities are safer. Thank you, Congressman. Thanks very you much. Bet. Anytime. Thank you for your interest in this. Congressman Mike Thompson, Democrat of California.